everyone, it's me again, obviously. Um, today, I wanted to talk a little bit about some anxieties over going to the gym, either for the first time or just overall scaredness. Because let me tell you, we've all been there. So, first of all, I'm gonna ask you, do you or have you ever had some anxiety of going to the gym? The answer is yes, because we all have, and this is something that truly is uh, honestly really intimidating. So like having those anxieties, feeling self-conscious, having that confidence vanishing feeling that's like super overwhelming, causes you to feel like super intimidated at the gym, embarrassed, or maybe feel like awkward in the gym. Trust me, every single person, we've all had that, like no matter what people say. It's scary to go to the gym for the first time. It's intimidating. And like, I just wanted to talk a little bit about how to overcome some of these anxieties of going to the gym because I've been there and I'm gonna be honest, like sometimes it's still super intimidating. So it's not like, something that just like magically goes away and oh wow, because I go to the gym every day, I'm like perfectly fine with how everything is. Like, not always, I'm gonna be honest. So I've made a list for you all to help us overcome these anxieties and I'm just really excited to share them um, and I hope they help. So let's get started. <laughs> So number one on my list of anxieties or how to overcome those anxieties is have a plan before going to the gym. Step one, have a plan before going into the gym. So you need to plan exactly what you want to accomplish in the gym. This will actually help hold yourself accountable when you go to the gym and actually like finishing your workouts. So I wanted to show you guys, like, this is like my old, <laughs> my old planning thing. So literally I write it all, I used to write it all out. Like here's Monday, here's Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, all this stuff. I wrote everything down, all my rest times, all my things that I'm doing, how many rounds I'm doing, how many reps I'm doing, how many sets, all those different things were in here. I now do it on my phone because it's a little bit easier than carrying around a notebook. But like, I had a plan because when I didn't have a plan, Lord knows, I don't know what I was doing. Let's be real. So having a plan before going into the gym, like will make you feel less disorganized and less anxious about just like going and like doing some random stuff at the gym. Number two, focus on your workout. So there's a lot of people in the gym and everyone's doing something different. So when you go to focus on your workout, you're not gonna have time to compare yourself to other people in the gym. You need to not worry about what the guy next to you is doing. He, maybe it's his first time, maybe it's like three years in and he's like super strong. That can be intimidating, but don't worry about what he's doing. Concentrate on you, <laughs> hi Amos. Concentrate on you and your workout in the gym and that will help to eliminate just anything else going on around you in the gym. Put your headphones on and just work on yourself. Headphones is like number one, right? Because we need to work out. Amos, you're like in the video. He is kind of an attention hog. Sorry. Okay, so that was number two. Number three is to exercise during the off-peak hours. So this was the one Thing that I wish I would have known to do when I started. So going to the gym at those less busy times is gonna help you avoid those like super hardcore fitness junkies who are like massively intimidating. And let me tell you, it still is kind of intimidating. I'm not gonna lie to you. So find out when your gym has your, the peak hours and then go when it's not so busy. That like truly has helped me. And honestly, like that's why I go at like 4.30 in the morning. Okay, so that was number three. So now we're gonna go on to number four. Bring somebody 
to the gym with you. Bring a friend. I am a huge fan of going with, Amos is freaking out. I'm a huge fan of going with somebody to the gym. Honestly, because working out with a partner is really helpful to calm your anxieties because you have someone there with you who's gonna encourage you and support you and you're not doing it alone. Sometimes when you're starting out, going with other people is really, really beneficial. So do that. Um, now I have some like deepening reasons of how to overcome some anxiety. Um, so number five, if you're watching this video and you want to overcome this gym anxiety intimidation, get out a notebook, a piece of paper, anything you have to write these questions down. So I want, what you need to do is you need to identify your goals. You need to identify your why, your what, and your how. So question number one, I want you to write down. Why are you adding fitness and wellness into your life? Write it down. Two, in what ways is your life gonna be different when you're adding this into your lifestyle? And three, how are you going to include fitness into your lifestyle today? Not tomorrow, today. Like focus on one day at a time. Don't try to focus on this like huge goal thing. Like yes, identify your long-term goals. I am, that's important. But focus on like, how am I gonna fit this in my day today? How am I gonna fit this into my week? Start slow. Don't like, how am I gonna fit this into like the next three months? Sometimes that's overwhelming. So try to figure out how am I gonna fit my fitness and wellness into my life today and this upcoming week that I can actually prioritize. That was number five. Number six. Start slow, pace yourself, pace yourself, and please start slow. Like start with like three 30 minute workouts a week. Don't start like going six times a week and going for two hours. That is overwhelming and crazy. If you start doing that, you're gonna stress your body out and your body's not gonna like you. You want your body to like you, so start slow, please. When I first started out, I did not start slow, and I killed it at the beginning. Like, I killed my body at the beginning. My body was so stressed out, I overworked my body, and I was not a pretty happy Nicole. I will be honest. It was really hard for me. So once you like start to feel more confident, you start to gain some of, those, um, some of that endurance in the gym, Bump it up when you're feeling more confident, for sure. But like, if you're starting out and you're a beginner, don't go six times a week and do two hours at the gym a day. No, thank you. Uh, my favorite number. Number seven, prioritize consistency over intensity. I'm gonna say it again. Prioritize consistency over intensity. It takes time and consistency to build your body. Oh, who would have known? Who would have thought that being consistent actually helps your body? No, nah, who would have thunk it? So um, you're better off doing like three 45 minute moderately intense strength circuits versus two hour high intensity workout six times a week because that's not sustainable like I was saying earlier. Prioritize going, being consistent over trying to go two times a like a week and trying to go super hard. You're gonna hurt yourself. You're gonna hurt your body and you're gonna burn yourself out. You don't wanna burn yourself out, no way. Um, leave all your frustrations, all of your stress, take it to the gym, get it out, leave it there. The gym gets to be a reset for your body. Consistently doing this will help you in the long run. Prioritize consistency over that intensity your body will thank you. Number eight, do workouts that you enjoy, right? Especially if you're a beginner, find something that you actually enjoy and you like and focus on small progress each day. Remember, consistency is the key. So don't do something you don't enjoy. Truly, let's do that. 
Number nine, athletic wear. Y'all, super important. We'll all be real, especially if you're a girl. So like from your outfit to your shoes, it's really important to feel comfortable in the gym. Have the right shoes, y'all. Like don't just wear like sneakers that you've had for like seven years. It's not gonna be the best for you. Like feel comfortable in the gym. If you wanna blend in and you're feeling uncomfortable, I have some tips about this. If you wanna feel comfortable and you don't wanna like stand out, don't wear bright colors in the gym. Like don't wear dark color clothes. Put a hoodie on. This is one of my favorite things. This is like my favorite hoodie to work out into. It's just like super, we're gonna go all out for this. Put a hoodie on. Put a hat on. Put your hood over your hat, look. Now when I work out, who's gonna notice me? Nobody, because I'm wearing dark clothes and I'm not gonna stand out. So like truly, if you don't want to stand out, sorry Amos, if you don't want to stand out, wear dark clothing. If you want to stand out and you want to have fun, wear your most bright yellow leggings, girl, do it. But if you're starting out and you don't want to like be in like everyone's like <laughs> peripheral vision because you're wearing yellow leggings, then don't do it. Do what you want. But that's one of my um, things like, when I started out, I constantly was wearing, I'll always wear black. I mean, I still wear black a lot when I work out. One, because I'm not a big fan of like showing my sweat. And then two, I just, I just do it. And it's just what I do. Um, that was number nine. And then number 10, nix the excuses. So there's a lot of excuses when we go to the gym or when we're trying to go to the gym. People, there's always an excuse. I'm too tired, I work too much, I have to make my meals. Okay, lay out your clothes every day, meal prep your, your food to fuel your body so that you can be successful inside the gym and outside the gym. Preparing in advance saves you time, money, and future frustrations because you're not gonna like go out to eat every day if you've already made your meals for the week. Just saying. And number 11, the last one, practice gratitude, practice gratitude for your body right now, for where it is right now. Love your body for what it can do at this very moment. Be grateful for the body that you have. Don't reserve your happiness because your body isn't where you want it to be yet. Because you're just starting out and you're like, I'm not going to be happy in my body because I'm not a size four. I'm not a size two. Like, whatever. Love your body for where it is at right now. If you're a size 14, love where that is. Love that your body, that what you can do with your body because your body is going to thank you for like loving it and like taking care of it. Don't reserve your happiness for where like it could be. Be happy for where it is right now. Accept and love every inch of your body all your extra rolls all these extra fat like I don't even care I, I work on it every day but I still love what I'm able to do because that's where you can start making the change that's where you will be able to transform your body mind body and your soul that's why I have my three butterflies to remind me of the transformation that I am able to have. My mind, my body, and my soul that I am able to transform my body because I love it. So these are my tips how to get started in the gym. It has taken me years to figure it all out because no one ever told me any of these things and this is what I wanted to convey to all of you. No matter where you are in your health and your fitness journey, just start. Just do it. Stop making those excuses. Lay out those clothes. Meal prep yourself. Get that gym membership. You know, work out at home if that's what you want to do. It's so beautiful when you start and you get to start seeing the change in your mindset that will truly transform every aspect of your life. I am super proud of the person that I've become because my mindset has shifted from a negative, unhappy, 
unloving mindset to a positive, loving, joyful one, one that I'm proud of. So overcoming these fears, these anxieties, and those insecurities, and you just start to love who you are, that's where you will start to see the change in your life, taking it one day at a time, and start to overcome those fears. So those are my tips for how to overcome some of those anxieties that you have in the gym. And I really hope that this was helpful and that you can use it and start to just see a mindset shift and see your body transform from the inside out. I love you all. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye.